trying to make some forward progress on my 1970s vintage Tamiya Jagdpanther, it was time to start thinking about adding some engine deck screens. I took to eBay to see what was available for my particular old dinosaur of a kit. I found there were quite a few different choices out there in a wide range of prices and manufacturers. It seemed like most of the engine deck screens were for Italeri or Dragon Jagdpanthers, but there were a few for Tamiya kits as well, but they all seemed to be for the newer release of their late Jagdpanther, in which case I felt that set would not fit my kit. Seemingly at a roadblock, let's turn to the silhouette die cutting machine and see if we can't whip up a custom set of engine deck screens. And here's our Jagdpanther engine deck. As you can see, we have three different shape and size louvered openings that we need to create the deck screens for. A rectangle, circle, and slightly wider rectangle. Now I've already taken those caliper measurements and input them into the uh, silhouette design program. And here is what I have come up with. Now as you can see there's five each of those three different shapes and those are just extras in case we have a problem with one or more along the way. It's just a little extra insurance. So with that completed let's start cutting out our engine deck screen frames. Alrighty, let's see how we did. So this is what the engine deck screen frames look like hot off the printer. Next we have to take some scissors and we'll start cutting out all these shapes. So on these rectangles I found that it's much easier to remove the center portion first, then score, snap and remove the outer portion. So to do that we're just going to take our X-Acto knife and draw a diagonal cut across the center, making sure that we don't cut across uh, any of our lines of our frame and now we should be able to 
um, fold these triangular flaps back and snap those out of there. And with the center portion removed, we can now score the outside of the frames and get that material removed. We're just going to draw some lines from the corners here. And that should help us easily snap those pieces off. And to snap these pieces off easier, since we're dealing with such thin material, um, I found it helpful to have a sharp 90 degree edge to fold these pieces down and get them to snap. And here's our frame all trimmed out. Let's give it a test fit. And other than being slightly torqued from snapping the pieces off, it looks like it's going to work out pretty good. And for the deck screen material, I'm using this camo netting. It's 54 inches by 12 feet long. That's over 7,700 inches. We'll definitely be able to make a couple of sets out of this. And it was only ten dollars. So I think I'm just going to cut a chunk out of this mesh so it's easier to work with. So here it looks like I've got the frame centered up pretty good on our mesh material so I'm going to try to apply some to me a thin cement around the edges to hopefully start sticking this together and I've got uh, a little bit of wax paper underneath there so hopefully um, it won't stick down to the surface
Alrighty, uh, I think enough time has gone by. The glue is all set up, so I'm just going to uh, trim, rough trim this out first. And then we'll go back and give it a little bit closer haircut. And when I trim this up closer, I'm going to kind of angle the scissors and see if I can't give it a slight back cut to try to hide some of the cut off ends of the mesh material. And let's see how our completed engine deck screen fits. I don't know about you, but I, I think that's going to look pretty good. We are just about out of time, so we'll start wrapping up this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Some of the logistics of this demonstration. I spent $10 on a humongous roll of camo mesh and a dollar forty on the sheet styrene for the frames so a total of eleven dollars and forty cents basically one set of photo etched engine deck screens from ebay i did some quick calculations and these engine deck screens don't even cost a penny a piece to make so big time savings there Plus it was a lot of fun, more or less scratch building them with a little help of some computer technology. Well, I have five more deck screens to make, so I better get back to work. Happy modeling, and thanks for watching.